Hi guys, happy Friday. I don't know if you saw my post yesterday, but I got to go on a field trip. My brother let me go. Um, and I went back again um, this morning because they got a whole nother shipment in after I went yesterday. So I was able to pick up some really cool stuff. Um, I know I haven't done a video in like, I don't know, a week or something. Um, so I'm gonna give you a rundown of the plant room because it looks fantastic. Dina worked on it and um, I helped her this afternoon. It looks really, really good. So I wanna show you some stuff before it all gets cleared out. So take a walk with me. Um, we got in some more cyclamen. Um, those are always a nice, bright, cherry flower. Um, they like a cooler location. So they're one that's fantastic for a drafty window if you're in an older house. Um, bright, indirect light, um, but the cooler the better. Just don't let them freeze, obviously. Um, <clears throat> so that's a good a good option for a drafty window. The other one is the hellebores, um, which are these here. Um, I only have four of these left. Um, there's a nice creamy colored one left. There's a nice um, mauve um, purple. That's kind of what it fades to, but there's a lot of buds still on these, you guys. So they're gonna keep blooming for a while. Um, and the white one fades to a nice chartreuse. And then I have a darker purple one, which I'll show you as we move down a little bit farther. Those are also fantastic for a drafty window. They like a cool location. Those are actually a perennial that can be planted outside. Not right now, keep it inside as a house plant, but once the ground is workable and we're like mid-March or so, plant it in a uh, semi-shaded wet area and it comes back year after year after year for years. I mean, for a really long time, it just keeps getting larger. Um, they're fan fantastic and they're the earliest to bloom in the spring for a perennial in the ground. So, highly recommend those. Um, if we go down a little bit farther, I am not gonna be able to pronounce the Latin name on this. Jeanette that works for me called it Ginger. Um, I saw these at the grower and I just couldn't resist. Um, they're absolutely beautiful. Um, some of the research I did said it's a never, never plant. There's some confusion as far as what, um, what plant that is. Um, but I was only able to get six of them and I only have four left. Four um, before I even did a video. Two of them are already sold, so don't wait on those. Uh, prayer plants, I got some more prayer plants. They had some fantastic looking prayer plants in a six inch pot. They are super huge and gorgeous. Uh, $13.99 on these, I think. Yep, $13.99 for that size pot. These are beautiful. I couldn't walk away from those. Um, I got in some Calthea's in a couple different uh, leaf um, patterns. Um, so there's that one there, and then the one behind it is a little more, I don't know, I call that one painted. Um, and that one um, has a little bit of purple to the back of the leaf, which I thought was really pretty. Like that one a lot. And then the one that's called a rattlesnake, um, which is the common name on that one, that one is cool. I really, really, really like that one a lot. Um, if we just scroll up real quick, that's the dark purple hellebore. This is the last one on that. Look at how pretty that is nice dark purple burgundy color plant that outside it'll come back year after year after year and still lots of buds on that if we go down below um i got in some of the alocasias now with some of the research that i've done and the reading that i've done um i heard that this is the hottest plant of 2021 so i had to get some um so i have a feeling they're not gonna last very long good shiny plant um it's nice and dark so it really accents some of your other house plants really nice uh, bright indirect location on that let them dry slightly in between waterings and you're good to go on that the air plants came in um, i'm going to touch upon those just real quick we have a really great selection all different sizes um, basically with the air plants you can pretty much put them anywhere um, the only thing that i do suggest that you do is once a week you're going to take them and you're going to put them in a bowl of water or in a sink full of water and you're going to let them sit for about an hour um, to grab that moisture and to keep them hydrated. If you don't do that, you're going to kill them. <laughs> they do need, even though they grow in air, they need water and they need moisture. So you have to soak them once a week and I highly suggest uh, misting them with a spray bottle once or twice a week if you can, uh, if you can remember, and that'll definitely help. Um, but they're easy, 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 put them anywhere. You don't even need a pot, you can just place them. Um, as we keep going, I did get in some more spathophyllians today. These looked so good. Um, absolutely amazing. I love spathophyllums. Uh, it's also a common name on that is peace lily. Um, low light area on that. Very little care. Um, 
it doesn't take much for these. It brightens up a corner. Um, $13.99 on those two, I believe. We have tons of ivies in stock. We have a white ivy, a yellow variegated ivy, and your regular green ivy in a couple different forms. Um, four and a half inch and six inch pots in those. Uh, that is a basic houseplant, can go pretty much anywhere. Um, I got lots of options on that. I got in some more hangers we already walked by, but I got in some spiders today. I got in some um, Swedish ivies, uh, and I got some philodendrons, which I'm gonna show you as we head down a little farther. Um, this display is absolutely striking. Um, I got in some of the old-fashioned rubber trees. Uh, this is in the ficus family. Absolutely beautiful, nice dark leaf on that. Um, these are easy care, you guys. Super easy care, bright indirect area, let dry between waterings. Behind that, I have what's called the Kiwi Dracaena. That has actually been pruned to a standard, so it looks almost like a palm tree. Um, great colors on that. I think I've shown this one before, but it's got that chartreuse. Um, it also has a little bit of the burgundy running through it and that nice dark green. Next to that is this one here. This is a neon Dracaena as well. Um, again, low light, well, bright to indirect light on this one. Let it dry between waterings, super easy and a nice bright um, plant for a corner of the house. Those look fantastic. We do still have some ferns in stock. I got in some asparagus ferns today, uh, which is this one here. These looked really nice. Lots of new growth on those. Um, these aren't as difficult to care for as a Boston fern. Um, they don't shed as quickly if you forget to water. Um, I did post a picture of um, our little fern here where I had suggested um, as a tip to put some pebbles underneath um, in a tray and fill it with water and as the water evaporates it creates that humid environment around your fern. I can't tell you enough how much that helps. I highly suggest it. I have the plastic saucers. They're super cheap under a couple bucks. Those stones are new that we got in this year. They're actually plastic. It's hard to see. You can't really tell. They look like beach stones, but they're plastic and they're recycled and they are recyclable bowl. Recyclable bowl. I guess that's a word, right? So <laughs> when you're done using them, you can put them in your recycle bin and they will recycle them for you. I mean, isn't that awesome? That's what we're all about. All right. So we're going to keep going. Um, I did get a few more in of the variegated lemon. This is the pink lemonade lemon. Um, the leaves are variegated, the meat inside, the fruit is pink, and the fruit itself, the skin also has stripes on it. Super cool. Those looked great, I couldn't resist them. Um, we do still have a few of the other citrus as well as this enormous one here. This will make a statement, I'm gonna put this out here. If you want this, come in and make me an offer. It's yours. All right, we're gonna keep going. Succulents. Um, I have a fantastic display of the four inch succulents. These came from a couple different companies. Um, succulents like a bright area, they like to dry out. Most people will kill their succulents and their cactus by over watering. Do not water them. Leave them alone. I don't water mine, but once every month, maybe. Um, they don't require much. Bright sunny area. We do still have some of the uh, ruby necklace in, the Sensirio. Sens and Sirios, I think was the uh, Latin name on that. I do have some aloes. Um, sometimes those are hard to get, so if you want one of those, don't wait. Uh, as we keep going, um, some of the tricolor peperomias. Again, you guys, this is the perfect house plan. I think I told you that before. Why are they still sitting here? Come in and get some of the peperomias. Those are fantastic. Um, I got in a few more of the um, that fairy plant. I don't think I've talked about a couple of these. Um, these would be great to do with the kids, you guys. They're nice and small. They're easy care. Um, put together a little fairy garden. Make your own little fairy garden accessories. Go on Pinterest. I mean, what else are we doing these days? We can't go anywhere. Um, we're inside. It's cold. Do some research. Find some stuff to do and make uh, and put together a fairy garden. Lots of different options on those. Um, good way to get the kids interested in gardening. Um, we got in an order of these smaller uh, three inch pots on the succulents. Uh, I see some red tacos in here. I know that was a popular one last year uh, when I got those in in an assortment. Um, there's lots of the coral cactus 
in here as well. Um, and then some Gorthias, uh, lots and lots of options as well as cactus, your regular spike cactus. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out is that this time of the year, we are getting in a lot of our pottery. Um, and I saw these that had come in. This is an adorable little trio. It's a plastic pot set with the tray attached. This would fit right on your windowsill. Um, and it's six bucks, you guys. So one of these, you grab three of the succulents, pot them up. I mean, for under 20 bucks, you have something really cool for your windowsill. Um, I like that a lot. All right, keep going. Um, I got in some, they had a smoking deal on these rosemary trees. I love rosemary in the house this time of the year. I find that I'm doing a lot of, um, a lot of cooking and a lot of baking and a lot of like baked chicken. And what goes better with that than fresh rosemary? So $12.99 on these, you guys. Look at how big that is. I mean, really, it's, I don't know, foot, foot and a half. And it's got lots of branches for cutting. Um, I wish you could smell this because it smells so good this time of the year. Oh my God, there's nothing better than the scent of fresh rosemary. Um, I do have some other herbs coming. Um, I ordered from my Canadian company and that order is coming either uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. I can't, I can't tell you what day exactly. Um, they show up when they show up. But I also ordered some basil, some uh, Italian parsley, and some spearmint, um, which all will work really well inside the house on your windowsill. Okay, uh, keep going. So if we can go this way a little bit, um, we've kind of organized the plant room a little differently this year. Um, this back section past the succulents and the cactus, um, I really tried to keep all of the lower light, lower care uh, options together for you guys. So, and these are all fantastic for beginners. So if you're just starting out, you don't, you don't wanna come in and ask questions, uh, this is where you head first. You cannot go wrong with any of the plants that are in this area. I guarantee it. So we're going to start off with some of the um, arrowheads, or they call them butterfly plants. Um, I got some in four and a half inch pots. There's a couple different varieties in this um, in this collection. Um, I did get in a few of the six inch ones as well. I had people asking for these. Uh, low light, low care, low water usage. Fantastic for kids, um, especially if you tell them they're a butterfly plant. Um, below that are the anthuriums. Those are the red ones. Those are fantastic for Valentine's Day or any day, really. Um, I do have some pink ones coming in from that other company uh, called Sweet Dreams, which is a rock candy or cotton candy pink color on those. Um, I got in some of the Monsteras. These I handpicked. I tried to get them all with the beginnings of some splits in them because I know that's what they're bought for. Um, but look at the new foliage on that. It is so fresh and so healthy. Um, so I got in, uh, I think six of those. Yeah, six. Um, I got in some more of um, the skin, uh, what is this one? Skindapsis? Skindapsis pathos, which is that one with the silver streaks on it super pretty. I have one of these, two of these actually in my bathroom. Uh, they are doing fantastic. I got in some of those in hangers, but you can certainly take the hangers off. Uh, the one thing that I was really excited about um, was the Swiss cheese philodendrons. Somebody had mentioned these to me and I forgot about these plants, to be honest with you. I remember them from quite a while back, probably 20 years ago. Um, I haven't seen them since and my grower had them. So I got in a bunch of them. <coughs> Excuse me, I got them in um, some hangers and then I also did get some six inch ones, but the hangers, you can take the hanger off. Um, along the bottom here, these are Chinese evergreens. These are virtually unkillable. You can put them in a dark corner of, the, of your room. They will do fine. They really don't require a whole lot of water fantastic option. So I got this one here, which has got, I don't know, I call this one like a zebra stripe. Really, really pretty. And then the one a little farther over has a lot more gray in it. This one to me is a little bit more modern. It'd be more for a modern type of a, of a room setting, but it could go anywhere. They're fantastic and they look great. And they are 13, 16.99 uh, for a six inch pot on those. 16.99, but worth every penny. Moving over here, um, I got some fantastic 
bromeliads in. Um, you guys know I love my bromeliads. They are, there is so much color in such a small area and they last forever. They will last all winter for you into the spring. You're gonna get sick of it and throw it away before the thing dies on you. Um, so I got some really great colors on that. This one, I always tell you my favorite. This one is my favorite. I love this variety. It's almost like a rainbow. You have your red, your orange, your yellow, and your green. Um, I, it's just, it's beautiful to me. Uh, bromelias are an unusual plant. You don't necessarily water the soil, you water the cup. Uh, these, I've mentioned this before, these are pyramidic plants, so they grow on uh, it's parasitic, parasitic plants, not pyramidic. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, they grow on other plants out in the rainforest, so they grow upwards and they collect the rainwater and that's how um, they keep hydrated. So that's how you should water them when you have them at home. Bright indirect area, they can also go in a much lower light area. Um, the color may fade a little bit, but pretty much put them anywhere. They're fantastic. We mix those in with the crotons. I have a couple different kinds of crotons. I have the regular larger leaf croton, which is this one here. Again, those vibrant tropical colors. Um, these grow as shrubs in Florida. They're super lucky. Then I found some corkscrew ones. I love these. I just love the texture and the shape on it and the way that it grows. I think these are fantastic. If you have a good sunny window, stick one of those there. You won't be disappointed. <coughs> we keep going farther down a little bit. Um, I got in some more of the Brazil philodendrons. I love these. Um, I don't know if it's the neon that's on the inside of the leaf. They just, they all look like they've been brush stroked. And it's such a unique look. Um, philodendrons are one of the easiest plants. Virtually unkillable. Um, put it in a low light area, put it in a filtered sun area. They'll do fine. Let them dry out in between waterings. They take cuttings. Super, super easy. Uh, but the Brazil is one of my favorites. I just, I love the growth habit on it. Uh, this one might be the easiest to show how when the tendrils start to come down how there's a little bit of like a pinkish i don't know what color to even call that like a peach color to the um the stem itself i just think that is so unique there's so many different colors going on on that plant and they're so easy super super easy um all right so that's a lot of the new stuff that i got in i do have more stuff coming in as i mentioned from my canadian company um let me see if I can remember. I got some carnations coming. Um, I have, mm, you're gonna like this. I have weeping pussy willows coming in. Weeping pussy willows, you heard me. Six inch pot. I hope they're as beautiful as they sound. They are hardy to a zone four. We're gonna keep it inside, we're gonna treat it like a house plant, and then you can plant it outside in a wet, wet location. Partially shaded area. It'll come back year after year after year. Weeping pussy willow, you guys. Uh, what else did I get? I got a bunch of stuff. You'll have to come in and see it. You know I'm gonna do an unboxing video. It's what I do. So keep your eyes peeled. Come in and see us this weekend. We would love to see you. See you soon. Have a great day.